Um, this is Out of the Basement, Demystifying Security and Operations. And I'm gonna introduce myself a little bit later, but first, what do I mean by demystifying security and operations? Like, what is the thing? I, I'm trying to demystify what you usually think of when you think of technical operations and security. So, for instance, when you're thinking about technical operations, you really don't wanna think of the bastard operator from hell who just, conveniently ignores the fires and he says, I'll get to it when I get to it and just is very hard to work with or seemingly all they deal with are fires. Um, or when we're talking about security operations, folks, the scary person who's like, no, you cannot do this. No, you cannot do that. Um, no, you cannot do anything because security and compliance. So I'm trying to remove these stereotypes that most people commonly run into because really when you get down to it, security and operations is really about one thing and one person. And that person is, no, come on, give it to me. No, no. Hi, it's me. Um, my name is Jamisha Fisher. I'm a security operations engineer at GitHub. Um, and fun fact, when I took this picture, um, just got off of a night shift, but you know, there was brunch, so it's great. Um, I'm also a hashtag DevOps sparkly princess. So with all that being said, now that you know me, why did I get into security and ops? One was that I wanted to be a jack of all trades and also get to know the people. Um, fun fact, this community here is the reason that I'm here today. So thank you so much for teaching me all the things about t technology. Um, but why do we love it? Why do we love security and operations? Um, and I'm gonna have a little help from the Twitterverse on this one. Um, there's many different reasons why we love it. For first and foremost, we like the thrill of problem solving. Um, we like, you know, figuring stuff out and having interesting problems that our brains can chew on. And this includes problems that happen in the most inopportune times, such as 2 a.m. It's like, oh, I really don't want to deal with this, but ooh, this broke in a different way. This is great. So we love the problem solving and the way it's very varied. And this is especially important in security because with security, the target is always changing. The threat model is always changing with each new and different technology. Technology, so you often have to be on your toes, which can be really exciting for some people. Um, another thing that comes in common with security and operations people is the people aspect. Um, you kind of get to know different ins and outs of your company that many people may not have access to, but we're also pretty responsible with it. So with all this being in mind, um, security and operations kinds of gives a lifelong lesson of learning about people and technology and you get paid for it, which is um, what we all, you know, kind of aspire to in a way. Um, so now that we have the reasons that we love it, what do we dislike and how could it be improved? Um, and again, going back to the story reverse on this, um, one of the things that gets brought up is the, the disconnect um, between maintenance and uh, going to do different technologies. A lot of companies are focused on making the new features um, instead of maintaining some of the stuff that they have. So that, you know, needs to change. You need to have a little bit maintenance, but that's hard work. Um, that takes a lot of talking and some people have to talk early. Sometimes you have to get the teams all together early enough and it requires a lot of empathy, which brings me to my next point. Um, in order to have empathy, you have to have more of a diverse and inclusive um, organization and culture. Um, a culture that doesn't have ego and where you constantly have to reprove your skills. So that needs to change in the industry. So in conclusion, um, we're security operations people, we're here, we're growingly diverse, but we need that empathy and that teamwork because when we have all that teamwork, and all those things that we put together, we all win. Thank you. So this is the last slide, but I have an extra one. If you wanna come and talk with me, either after this or during open spaces, um, feel free to, otherwise, there's my email, there's my Twitter handle, and thank you again. Yes. <laughs>